everyone welcome back to another video and in this video i am answering one of the most asked questions that i get do companies hire remote or uh, you know non-remote freshers so freshers mean folks who are just graduating college in the field of devops okay this is a very weird question it's like asking it's like going to a going to a pizza place going to domino's and asking them hey do you sell pizzas because I am a student who is working in the field of DevOps and students come ask me, who know about me, Kunal, can we get a job as a fresher or a student in DevOps? I mean, I am doing it. I'm not sure why I'm making this video because that question does not make sense. So maybe I should make another video on how to ask good questions, but still I I'll answer this question in this video. Do companies hire DevOps? Freshers means folks who are just graduating or in their college right now. So I am in college right now. I started working in the field of DevOps full time one year ago when I was in my second year end. So from my sophomore year sort of, I've been working in this field. Not just me. You can find so many other amazing people at KubeCon who started uh, working right from the high school or college. You can start. You can find people who are graduates of the LFX mentorship program, um, Google Summer Code program with the CNCF. All of these are students who have graduated these internship programs or whatever and now they're working in the field of devops kubernetes shadows program also has it its own you know uh, a lot of examples the kubecon scholarships have a lot of examples of such folks so it's pretty evident so much facts and proof that i have provided that companies do hire freshers in the field of devops question really does not make sense because all these facts are available online um, it makes me really sad that students are not able to see what is right in front of their eyes now the the question the second question being that um, some folks say that like what are the some of like the best practices kunal how can we get hired as a fresher i'm just in my college i want to do a full time job in the field of devops or whatever remote work is is pretty great with that there are so many companies around the world it's like a trillion dollar empire with billions of dollars of funding and it's only going to grow so the opportunities are great so the question is is it a right choice for a student a freshman to get into this field 100% if you are interested it's a uh, definitely a great career choice I'm doing it so many other folks are doing it you can definitely do it what I would recommend you though is uh, try out various fields and see what you like best so try out DevOps web dev mobile dev machine learning or whatever and then see where you want to choose your path so it's not like DevOps is the only success field it feels weird to saying that out loud um, there's so many fields you can go to so whatever you're interested in, you can do, but we are talking about DevOps. So yeah, students can definitely uh, make a make a career out of it. Speaking of salaries and everything, it's uh, in remote work, it's pretty huge. Um, it's uh, and the learning opportunities are great because there are you know, so many tools coming out uh, regularly and you get to get, uh, you know, got also get to attend KubeCon and you'll meet so many people from around the world. So the perks are innumerous. One point I'd like to mention over here, this is a very important point that students often ask me, Kunal, not just for DevOps, mostly they ask about DevOps, but it's valid for other fields also. Kunal, I am applying to this company, but they are not hiring me. They are saying you're not eligible or this is not right or that is not right. Kunal, I feel like I'm being discriminated. So let me tell you something very clearly. There are two points of thought. Okay, two things I want to share with you. Just these two points are very, very important. Okay, that's why I'm stressing on it. So the number one, uh, one, one additional doubt that I get is Kunal, this person told me, this person told me that uh, you cannot work in DevOps as a fresher. So I'll answer all these questions just with two points. These two points, you should, you know, put it in your mind very carefully. Point number one, only take guidance from people who have actually done that thing. Let me do a role play. So I will play, I will act now as a new student who wants to get into DevOps. And in front of me is a bhaiya who works at a big tech fan company or whatever. Um, and I'm asking them guidance who are his influencer. Hello bhaiya, I, um, I really want to, you know, get into DevOps. I'm in my second year right now. Uh, how do I get into it? I want to do job. It feels like a, you know, great opportunity and so many exciting things are happening. I see on socials in this field. So I'm interested and I would like to learn more. Now the bhaiya is like, um, no, you are a student uh, and I would not recommend working uh, in the in the DevOps field as a as a student, I would not recommend it. Then the student again. Oh, uh, that's okay. We are, uh, what do you work in? What do you do work in DevOps? Do you work in DevOps or do you work in like uh, SDE? What do you do? Now, Bhaiya is like, 
No, I work in, uh, I have worked in SDE and I've worked with web development and stuff. Also, you have not worked with uh, with DevOps, right? In in your career, you did not start with it. No, I, I, I did not. I did not start with it. Okay, uh, thank you so much, uh, Ram Ram. That's what you need to do. If someone does not have experience with it, don't take their guidance. Don't take it. Opinions are based around experiences. Here's what I would recommend you to do. Set a goal while looking at like inspirations. Okay, set a goal. So when I was in my freshman year, I was like, and it's nothing wrong. What that other guy is saying, it's nothing wrong. So if that other guy is saying or anyone who is saying that, you know, you can't get into the field of DevOps as a student, you agree with them. You're like, yeah, you're absolutely right. You can't do it. But uh, people like Kunal have done it. People like so many other people have done it. So I'll just go take guidance from them. If someone says that you cannot get a good job without computer programming. Absolutely, 100% true. You cannot get a good job without computer programming. But I can. Kunal has. Other people have. So many students have. So that's fine. You can't because your opinion are based around your experiences. So I'll just take guidance from people who have done it without it. That's how that's how you find mentors. There will be a lot of people in the in the in your journey that will tell you that you cannot do these things, and there's nothing wrong with that. You agree with them. Why? Because opinions are based around experiences. Obviously, they will be sharing what they have experienced, right? Unless you are a big like, bhaiya jo sab ki guidance dete hai. So you will. Uh... So that's the thing. People give advice about what they have experienced. Not always. There are you know. Sometimes people may just do it for views and give guidance about things they don't know. So be aware of that. But always ask for proof and respect others' opinions as well because their opinions are formed around their experiences. So it's true, but it's for them, not for you. Your path can be different. So when someone says you can't do it like that, that's fine. Okay, you did not do it. So I'll just find someone who has done it. And that's how you make it in life. Okay, that was point number one. Point number two, it's extremely important. So point number one was about, you know, being safe online. The point number two is actually about getting the rules. So one thing I want you to understand very clearly. It's a very simple statement. People are looking for people to hire. There are so many people who are looking for people to hire right now. Why is it that I get so many offers? Why is it that so many other people get so many offers? Why not you? So let me state this in one single line. The only thing standing between you and the offers is the bridge gap of skills and a little bit of representation of those skills. So study hard and apply that somewhere. Open source, blogs, being active on socials, teaching someone, creating content, so many other things you can do. Okay, so networking with the right people, I think that's extremely important. So when it comes to networking, take guidance from people who are active around the world, globally. Because they know how the world works, they have you know they they will bring different perspectives. Um, so take guidance from people who are active around the world, and you will see such people in open source. Those are the main two points, and I think that was a pretty straightforward video. Yeah, definitely you can get into DevOps roles. So uh, always focus on these two points. Obviously, the work hard, study, and networking, and representing your skills part is there. But always look for like proof. Okay, and opinions are based around experiences is a very important point of this video. Opinions are based around experiences. So find people whose experiences can be related to the goals that you have. And one more important point that I want to mention, this is also a very important point. I should have you know, thought this through that how many points I want to mention. I first said two and then now another one. But the another very, very important point is there is discrimination everywhere. Okay, not just tech. There are people being discriminated in so many fields. So you will find yourself in a place, you know, the previous point that I mentioned, Kunal, this company is not hiring me. They are not hiring me as such, so on and so forth. They're not eligible, not from good college. They're not hiring from this branch or whatever. I'm feeling discriminated. Very important point is, you will be discriminated at various, uh, at various stages of life. Ignore the part that is being discrimin that is discriminating you and look at where you're, you are valuable. For example, in, in Fang in India, for example, they don't come to my college, right? Google does not come to my college. Um, 
So I'm like, okay, you're not coming to my college or whatever, and uh, you're asking for this ranking or whatever. Whenever I asked for referral for someone in Google in India, they were asking for my rankings or whatever. Yeah, outside India, not so much. So I was like, okay, that's fine. No worries. I will just apply at other places. You have nothing to lose. There are so many companies, better, great companies who are willing to hire you. So if you if you feel like you are being discriminated somewhere, okay, no problem. That's fine. It's your company. I respect it. That's okay. Do whatever you want to do. I'll just go somewhere else. Kunal, I am from let's say commerce background. A company on the job portal says that they don't hire. They only hire tech graduates or whatever. Okay, fine. I'll just look for companies that hire uh, based on skills and projects and stuff. I'll network with people. I do hit and trial. Form the path like that. You will be discriminated. The biggest mistake students make is the places where they are being discriminated. They they spend all their energy over there rather than ignoring it. They spend all their energy. Are somehow I want to get into it. Somehow I they're not letting me in. I want to do it somehow. Uh, what do I do? You ignore that and you go somewhere else where your skills are valuable. There are plenty of jobs in tech. Okay, and remote work I think has the least amount of. I, I have not seen any discrimination. Skills is equal to job offer. That's it. So. I made a video on this uh, career paths after B Tech and BCA or BSc or whatever. Make sure you check that out. But uh, that that was one more important point I wanted to mention. And um, there's a secret third point, which is like, share, subscribe, share about it on socials. And um, you know, Vicky, uh, I'm wearing a DevOps World T-shirt here as well. But uh, anyway, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment uh, if you have any questions or any thoughts or whatever. But uh, it's a great field to get into. If you're interested in it, if not, you can you know so many things to do. You can you can do whatever. Um, yeah, that's basically about it. Have a great day. Bye.